iPhone 12 Pro. What are the best camera settings for what we do here for astrophotography and low light? In this video, you'll find out. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography. That is iPhones, Androids, all different mobile devices and action cameras as well. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and if you've already done that, you're a bloody legend. Today's video is brought to you by the iPhoneography podcast. Some of you guys may already know Greg McMillan. He comments a fair bit on some of these videos that you see on this channel here. I've even been a guest on Greg's podcast, and I'll tell you what, even I learned something. He does podcasts on a very regular basis. He brings guests on, talk about phones, talk about photography with your phones. And I'll tell you what, I didn't know it was gonna work doing something that's so visual on something such as a podcast platform. But I'll tell you what, he does a bloody good job and it works really well. So check it out, I'll link it down the bottom in the description and uh, you can see for yourself. Today, what we are talking about is how to set up your iPhone 12 Pro series phones for low light photography. First thing we're gonna look at is the settings. So if you've got an iPhone 12 Pro series, you know you've got Pro Raw capabilities. If you've upgraded your phone's firmware in the last month or so, it's on your phone. So to find it, we're going to go into settings. Once you're in settings, we're gonna scroll down until we find camera. Go into camera and go across on the top one there where it says formats. Scroll down and you'll see Apple Pro Raw. Enable that and that will give you the functionality in the camera itself. While we're in the settings, we're going to change a few other things here. Go back to camera, scroll down until you see scene detection. This is pretty smart for food and indoor and outdoor sort of photography during the day. But for nighttime photography, what we're doing on this channel, it just sucks. The little fella, he doesn't know, know how to work out that we're trying to shoot stars. So we're just gonna turn that off. Next thing we're gonna do is turn off smart HDR. HDR is when it's going to expose a bright area, a dark area, something in the middle. It's gonna squash it all together into a reasonably well exposed photo. And that works reasonably well for really high contrasted sort of photos. But for what we're doing, it's not really high contrast. It's just bloody dark. So we're gonna turn that off as well. Turn both of those things off and we're set. The phone is set up to take photos. When we enable Pro Raw on this device, it's going to take up more memory. So a regular HEIC file or a JPEG file is going to take about two meg, two and a half meg, uh, sometimes a little bit more than that. But a Pro Raw file, it's going to be about 20, 25 meg. So it's going to take up a lot more room. That's why it's not enabled all the time. Even when you go into the camera, you still need to enable it. And you might think, well, why do I want to use it? Well, you know those little artifacts that appear all over those nighttime photos that we take of the stars when we use a JPEG file or a HEIC format file? They look like, you know those eye floaters that you see in your vision uh, like this? They remind me of that. And well, to, for astrophotography, you just don't want them there. It's, it's too hard to get rid of. So when you shoot Pro Raw, almost all of that is gone and I'm gonna show you a way to get rid of the rest of them very shortly. And for Smart HDR, well, it's still there. It's still in the camera. You just need to be able to turn it on. It's not going to do it when it thinks it's the right time to do it. So all you need to do for that is to scroll up and you'll see a new menu come across the bottom of your phone, across the bottom of the camera. And you see there, HDR has got a line through it. All you need to do is turn that on and you can still shoot HDR. It's going to do that every time you turn it on. And when are you actually going to use HDR photography? Well, I'm telling you now, it's not for stars. Just turn the damn thing off, you're going to get a better result. Once you're out there taking the photos, well, you're going to need 30 seconds for this shot, you're going to need a tripod, just a little Joby tripod like that, it will do just fine. You're going to need a phone holder, and that's the one that I use, the Ulanzi phone holder. And these two combined with the phone in the top, it does a mint job. It does it really, really well. So you set up your shot, you've got 30 seconds, turn that HDR off, turn Pro Raw on, and take a photo. What happens when you don't use these methods that I'm talking about right now? This is the sort of photo that you end up with. And if I zoom right in here, you can see those little artifacts that I'm talking about. They're just a pain. On the Pro Raw, they're not nearly as bad. 
And let's have a look now how to get rid of it. Now with Pro Raw, they're not nearly as bad as what it is when you don't use Pro Raw. What I'll tell you though is that when you do use Pro Raw and you don't use HDR and you don't use scene detection, you can get something that is the best I've seen on an iPhone yet. Let's have a look. So this photo here is a Pro Raw photo. If I zoom in, you can see there there's a few artifacts, not nearly as bad as what it was before. But we're going to get rid of them even more and edit this photo a little bit, but not the way you think. So we're in the gallery here, and I'm just going to touch on the photo, hit edit, and we're going to edit this photo. You can hit the wand and it will do a pretty bloody good job, I think you will agree. If I touch on that, see the original, there's the edited photo, it's not too bad at all. But if we go all the way over to the right, there's the vignette. The second one from the right is noise reduction. And this is the best noise reduction I've seen so far in any app to get rid of this noise. If we zoom right in, you can still see the noise looks a little bit like traditional sort of digital noise. Bring this uh, noise reduction right up and it's almost got rid of it. Look at that, not too bad at all. We'll export this and put it into any other sort of editing app and you're done and dusted. It's, uh, it's a way to fix that digital noise, get a really, really good photo out of an iPhone 12 Pro and uh, we're getting that little bit closer to what the uh, Android phones are doing with full manual mode. That's not a bad photo at all. So here's that photo, we'll bring it into Adobe Lightroom Mobile, and there it is right there. Straight off the bat, I'm going to just hit the auto button and see what it does. It actually did a lot of good deal there for the core, for that galactic core. It actually looks pretty bloody good. What I'm going to do though is bring it all back down a little bit. I'm going to go to the light, bring that exposure down a little. I'm just looking at the core, that galactic core, to see how we can fix that up a little bit better. Bring that down just a little. I want to go to the blacks and drop the blacks as well. And that's looking so good for an iPhone photo. What we'll do now is I'm going to adjust the color here, bring the temperature down a little bit just so it's not quite as warm as it was in the original. And I'm going to increase the tint with magenta just a bit. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Go into the effects, increase the dehazing tool, and that, well, I'm done. I'm not even going to do anything with the core. That's a pretty bloody good photo with those settings that I've just told you. Turn on Pro Raw, turn off HDR, turn off scene detection, and that is what you can get out of an iPhone. Pretty bloody impressive. Now, if you're an Android guy thinking this guy's going back to iPhones, doing all iPhone stuff, well, the next video you're going to see it later in the week is this one right here. And I'm going to show you how to do panorama photos with your Android device. All right, guys, I'll catch you next week. See you later.